right, so uh, if you guys are changing reverse gate out, um, each of the boats should be equipped with a spare reverse gate kit. Uh, and that kit should be located in the tongue box of each boat trailer. Uh, if you don't have a kit, make sure that you write a special ops defect up and we'll get you one. Um, but when you open this kit, it's going to have all the parts you see here in front of you. So it's going to have a cam plate. It's going to have some bushings. It's going to have an eccentric nut. And it's important to note that the hole on this is not in the center. It's going to have the bolt for that. More bushings. It's going to come with a reverse gate. Um, it's going to come with the bolts to put the pins in. Bushings for the pin. Um, it's also important to note on these pins that there is a detent. When you put these pins in, they're going to go from the inside of the reverse gate and you're going to match this detent up on the pin with the notch that's here on the reverse gate. So you're going to slide this in and push it in, make sure it sits flush. It's important to make sure that sits flush when you install that. Uh, the next thing you have here are the pins and it's also important to note that these pins have a, a detent in them as well. Um, so when you put this pin in, the bolt is actually going to sit that, and that's what stops this pin from sliding in and out. Uh, then you have the roller, and this goes inside the cam plate. And we'll show you that when we put this all back together. So today we're going to talk about, whatever day you're watching this, we're going to talk about changing the reverse gate. So we're going to take the reverse gate off, we're going to put the reverse gate back on, we're going to talk about what's in the kit, and we're going to talk about how to write one of those up. All right, so the first thing we want to talk about um, is what these may look like when they break, um, why they break, and the kind of the most common things that happen. Can, uh, can you go ahead and put this boat in uh, reverse for me? I'm sorry, put it in forward gear. All right, so when we're running these boats in forward gear, this is what it's going to look like. The reverse gates will be tucked up underneath the exhaust. Um, and the problem with this is when we, when we run it like this, um, if we hit a rock, it's going to strike this intake first and then it's going to come back and it's going to hit this reverse gate. When it does that, all the way to the back of the boat and the motor is going to be rested on this reverse gate. And it's just cast aluminum, so when that happens, these like to bend. Uh, when they bend, these ears here are going to fold out. When that happens, they wind up binding on these pins that you see here. Um, and it may get stuck in gear, it may not go in gear. Uh, so as a field repair, something we can do is we can take this reverse gate completely off and run it without a reverse gate, which gives us forward gear without the ability to have neutral or reverse. Uh, that's one option, and we can certainly, we have the tools and stuff on the boats and the toolboxes. We have the ability to take this off of the boat while we're still out on the river. Okay. Uh, uh, so some other stuff we may deal with, uh, with broken parts, is the cam plate. So this plate here on the side, when you shift gears, can you go ahead and shift gears at? So that moves up and down, and that's, that's supposed to help this reverse gate slide into reverse, neutral, and forward gear. Um, if, we, if we hit a rock on this part and bend that, we may lose the ability to be in one of the gears or it may break this bolt off and uh, unfortunately when that happens, this boat is going to default into reverse. Like you, may go, you may be going full speed ahead and if this, this bolt falls out or this cam plate gets bent, it's going to slam this reverse gate into reverse and you're going to wind up going backwards. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to go over real quick how to take this stuff apart as if you were in the field. Um, so you should need most of the boats in the county are going to be a 7 16 or a 10 millimeter. Um, there's really no, I can't tell you which boat is which and for what reason, uh, but with, with either one of those tools, you should be able to take a reverse gate off of pretty much any boat we have in the county. All the reverse gates are going to be the same. Um, so we're going to start with the shift linkage over here, okay? First thing you're going to do is you're going to loosen this nut up right here where the roller's at. We're going to act like we're just taking this off as if we're taking the reverse gate off. We're going to run it without a reverse gate as if we were still out on the river. Does it need to be in reverse to a repair? It does not need to be in forward, neutral, or reverse. It doesn't matter which gear it's in when you're taking this off. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the, the bolt on this eccentric nut here. And we'll show you guys how to, how to adjust this uh, when we go to put it back together. All right, so we've got the bolt out of this eccentric nut here. We remove that. Uh, this is what it's going to look like once you take it out. Uh, just, just be careful. If you can, try to save the pieces that come off of it in case you have to put them back on. Uh, if not, your new reverse gate kit is going to come with all that stuff, but just try to keep that stuff if you can. Be 
careful not to lose this roller either. All right, so now this cam plate is kind of hanging free, right? This roller skate can move up and down. Um, we can zip tie that out of the way if we need to. Um, if it does get in the way we're worried about it, we can take this nut off here too and remove it completely out of the equation. It's just going to leave the shift linkage there. For right now, I'm going to leave that. Um, the next thing we're going to do to remove this reverse gate is there are these pins in the side, these pivot pins. So at the bottom of this reverse gate, underneath attached to the, the lower unit, there's two bolts, one on either side of each pin. You're just going to loosen these bolts. You don't have to completely remove them. You can stick your finger inside and push on the pin, and once it gets further out, you can just slide it completely out. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Reverse gate is off. All right, so we have these two bolts left over, right? We just loosen these to pull those pins out. Uh, if you're going to run this boat without a reverse gate, you want to completely take these bolts out so that way they don't get damaged. If you're just changing a reverse gate, at, reverse gate out the station, you do not have to completely pull those out unless they're damaged. All right, uh, so we're going to talk about putting this reverse gate back on. Uh, it's a good time now since you've got the reverse gate off to take a look. Make sure you don't have any rocks stuck in the exhaust. Um, you do, try to take a screwdriver and pry it out. All right, so we're going to start by, we're going to take these bolts to hold the pin in, and we're going to thread those in partially. We're going to look inside this hole, and we want to get the, this bolt to where it's almost getting ready to come through into this hole, but not quite in there. So we're going to get to that point on both sides. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the reverse gate in place. We're going to move it up as if it were in reverse. And we're going to take one of these pins, and we're going to look at where the detent is. And we're going to try to push it in and line that hole up, line that detent up with about where the bolt is if we thread it partially in. And this may take a couple tries to get right. Um, if you don't get it on the first time, Wiggle that pin around if you can. You may have to do in some, you may have to roll it side to side, you'll eventually find where that detent is. There we go, we just found it. So you'll get a, a bunch more threads in it after you find that. So just snug that up by hand and do the same thing to the other side. said may take a couple tries to get it lined up right. Alright, if you're having a difficult time getting this pin lined up, um, it can help you to use a pair of channel locks or something like that. You can actually twist the pin side to side and pull it in and out a little bit until you feel that, th give it a little bit of light tension on the bolt until you feel it find that hole and you can start running in the rest of the, rest of the threads. So we're going to do that until they're barely snugged up. All right. So this is the most important part. Um, so these bolts that we put in here are stainless. Uh, stainless is a very hard metal, but it's also very brittle. It breaks very easy. Um, this is a cast aluminum housing, so we got dissimilar metals here. If you over tighten these bolts and they snap very easy, um, they are a real pain to drill out of here. And you can't do it with a regular drill bit because they're stainless and regular drill bits won't do that. So they are a real pain to get out. So we do not want to break this bolt off inside of there. So you're just going to lightly snug them down. Um, if you're putting new bolts in, they come with 
Loctite already applied to the bolts. So those are the bolts that are in the kit with it. Okay, just snugging them down, not much, not much torque. All right, so we're going to, next step we're going to do is we're going to put this cam plate back on. So you're going to take your roller, you're going to stick it in the end where the ear's at, you're going to slide it in there, slide it the rest of the way down, and we can hang it on the reverse gate. We're going to take this nylon lock you got here, we're going to thread that on. Uh, we don't want to run that down as tight as we can get it, we just want to snug it up a little bit. Kevin Halford, one. Awesome one. Make sure that roller can still roll. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our centric nut and bolt, and we're going to take this bushing. This is the bushing that looks like this. It's white when it's new. This one's a little dirty. We're going to push it through. It's going to stay right there. And then we have a flat bushing. That's going to go on the inside of the cam plate. And we're going to push this centric nut through there. And then we're going to bolt it to the side of the lower unit. All right, so we just got that hand tight. Then we're going to take this linkage, put that back on. straight again. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to adjust this eccentric nut. Make sure that the reverse gate is in the right spot and this thing shifts like it should, okay? So you want to have your your helper put this boat in reverse. So go ahead and put this boat in reverse if you can. All right. So I'm looking through the exhaust here. And I'm going to turn this nut to the reverse gate is at the highest setting that I can get it at without binding up. All right, so I'm not touching this reverse gate. I'm just turning this eccentric nut, right? So you can see the reverse gate moving up and down a little bit. So I'm going to turn this until the reverse gate is as high as I can get it without binding up, so without touching the housing. So right about there. When I get to that point, then I can tighten up the bolt that's in the center. And I want to be careful when I do this to not turn the nut itself. And I can tighten up the bolt in the center. Remember, it's stainless, so don't go too tight with it. Uh, once I believe it's tight enough, I'll have my helper go ahead and shift gears and make sure that I can shift into forward, neutral, and reverse just fine. And that there's no binding. And it should look just like that. Uh, if you do have binding, loosen this bolt up. Try to turn this nut and bring that reverse gate down a little bit. Um, if you're out in the field and you're trying to diagnose, you know, why your parts will fit together right, sometimes these ears of this reverse gate can be bent and you won't even know it looking at it. Um, if it is, it's going to be hard to adjust. Um, you may have to play with this just to get it to a point where it will shift. Um, if you run across reverse gates like that, it's just better to replace the whole thing. All right, so if you've just been out on the river and you broke a reverse gate, um, you want to make sure you write it up. The way to do that is we have a, there's a link for the, uh, the JOT form for special ops defects on the SharePoint. You can do it there or we have a, uh, a QR code. So if you look on the tongue of all of our trailers, there's a QR code. You can take a picture of that QR code with your phone. It should take you right directly to that defect. Um, most of the boat supports also have that QR code in the uh, front passenger compartment. One of those stores will show you one of those QR code stickers there as well.